Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. GitHub Copilot has released a new feature and it is agent mode. And to use this agent mode, you need this green color VS code, not the blue color. Okay, so I will tell you in this video step by step process how to use it. So stay with me till the end. So here we see that this GitHub Copilot agent mode have some extra features. On February 6, 2025, they have released this. And if I talk about this feature, here you see the vision. That means you can upload or attach the images and work with them directly in the Copilot chat and it is completely free guys. And they have also written this thing that to get started you will need to download VS Code Insiders and then enable the agent mode setting for the GitHub, GitHub Copilot chat. Now how to download this VS Code Insider? I have given one link in the description box. Go to that link this code.visualstudio.com slash insiders and here click on this download for windows or if you have a mac or linux then you can install that according to uh, your operating system right now let me click on this download for windows so in the meantime uh, when it is downloading i will discuss the uh, feature so here you see that um, here in this uh, section you will get the upload file option here you can upload the mockup or upload the ideas that you have or if you have any screenshot of, uh, of a app or website then you can upload that and ask for the solution okay now next thing is that this agent mode so here they have written that in agent mode copilot can iterate on its own code this includes automatically identifying and fixing errors executing terminal commands to complete a requested task and resolving runtime errors with self-healing capabilities so that means if you have any error in your code or if you want to ask any uh, question regarding your code then it will do all of the things and also uh, suppose if your code has any error then also it will fix that automatically right now the next thing that it has introduced this next edit suggestions Suppose you have one variable in your code and that variable you have used in four places inside your code. Okay, so if you change that variable name, then it will automatically change that variable name in the other portions also. And here you see that with this new ability, GitHub Copilot will suggest revisions to your code, comments, tests and more means uh, when you are changing that variable then it will also automatically test your code that it is affecting your code or not okay and also these next edit sessions help you to edit code that you have previously written and need to edit better meet your current goals right so this is a huge features that they have released i will also show you that how to access it and another thing that they have mentioned when you are presented with an edit solution you can navigate to it with the tab key and then accept it with the tab key again. So here you see that they have given this example that uh, this is the code and here you will paste the tab key and it, it, you can accept the solution. Okay. So uh, my VS code got downloaded. Now this is the uh, this type of interface you will see. Okay. So you have to just click on the next next next. Then after that you will find this type of uh, interface and click on this finish this is the green color vs code and this is called the vs code insider okay so now i got this type of interface now what i will do uh, click on this setup copilot for free okay and now you will get this option that uh, uh, sign in to use copilot for free click on this okay now it will ask for the authentication click on this sign in okay and click on this continue so now you are authorized to use this uh, github copilot okay so it is doing the sign in so now my copilot is connected with my github account and now i can use it for free so here you see that uh, on the top portion follow my cursor there you will find two options one is this chat another one is this copilot edit okay so if I go to this chat option here below, you will find uh, these three options in this message prompt uh, section. One is this chat with extension. Another one is this attached context. Here you can upload the files that I talked uh, before. 
and here this start voice chat that means if you turn on this and ask anything to this copilot it will do that and on the right hand side here you see that uh, follow my cursor um, this peak model option here you will find this cloud 3.5 sonnet gemini 2.0 flash and this gpt 4o and o3 mini this four model you will get for free right and uh, another thing is that if you go to this uh, this copilot edit section so follow my cursor the second tab copilot edit now here you will get the agent mode option okay so if you follow my cursor here you see that below in this prompt section okay you will see this edit and agent these two drop down okay follow my cursor so edit and agent so if you turn on this agent mode then you will see that uh, this agent mode is experimental it is written and ask copilot to edit your files in agent mode so what i have told you that in this agent mode let me show you uh, copilot can iterate on its own code and this includes automatically identify and fixing errors executing terminal comments to complete the requested task so if i show you here you see that in this uh, vs code insider i have this habit tracker folder and inside this folder i have this two file index.html and style.css okay now you see that index.html inside this uh, i have written something but inside this style.css i have not written anything okay now i can turn on this agent mode and i can tell this copilot that please include the css also to make it look better okay now what i will do so i will select this style.css and from this drop down i will select this agent mode okay and here there are various models and uh, i will select this gpt4 o okay uh, remember one thing if you go to this uh, this uh, copilot edit section this second tab then there you will get this three models for free so there you will not get the o3 mini option okay only you will get the o3 mini option in this first tab that means the chat tab okay and so now i will select this uh, plot 3.5 sonnet preview and uh, i will select the agent mode and now here i will tell it that add css um, here to make it uh, modern okay to make it modern okay uh, modern looking so now if i press enter you will see that it is asking enable cloud 3.5 sonnet for all clients so i will click on this enable okay and now here you see that co github copilot generating okay so here you see that it is writing i see you have a basic html structure for a habit tracker application and uh, and here you see that my css is ready for me you see this uh, root body and this h1 and this media query also it has added okay and all of these things and it has also written that a clean color scheme using css variables a responsive typography and this uh, proper spacing and layout structure and this mobile responsiveness and smooth transitions for interactive elements all of these things it has added so you have to just give the correct context of your application and it will do all of these things and just turn on this agent mode okay now let me show you that um, next thing that i have discussed this next edit suggestion so for that you have to just turn on this next edit suggestion from the settings option so on the left hand side follow my cursor you will find this settings option so just uh, open this settings and here you will find this okay so i will just search next edit next edit and here you see that i got this option github copilot next edit solution enabled so now here i have to just click on this checkbox now if i click on this checkbox and now if i go to my html so now if i click on uh, if i type here that habit tracker website here you see that i got some solution now i can click on this tab and i can accept it okay so this is the things that you see that go to accept so for this you have to click on this tab and now if i if you click on this escape then it will reject so now if i click on this tab here you see that it got accepted this is the fab icon and this uh, link okay fab icon and um, 
so this is the thing for this uh, next study solution so i hope you got the idea that how to use it so please uh, install this vs code insider from the given link in the description and uh, link your github account with this copilot and um, use it use the agent mode and tell me the your experience in the comment section okay just uh, explore this uh, feature and um, the more you explore it then the more you experience the power of this agent mode in this copilot okay and another thing is that as you have seen that after installing this uh, vs code insider when i opened it uh, i got this copilot setup but if you don't get this copilot setup uh, at that time then just go to the extension and install this github copilot and this good github copilot chat okay so i hope you got the idea that how to use it and uh, uh, you can watch the other videos also in my channel code Digip, uh, that i have published like uh, client and this gemini 2.0 pro setup and this uh, tempo labs also for generating the code and this uh, deep cloud uh, this is the power of deep sig r1 plus cloud and if you are visiting this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel also to get this type of videos more so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video if you found helpful